Hello YouTube and welcome to frames 4, 5 and 6 uh, between me and Jordan. And if you watch the first three frames you'll see that I am definitely subpar at the moment. Hopefully I can change my fortune. But let's see how these three frames progress. Oh, that was a rather close one there from Jordan, and it's not particularly nice for me leaning over the uh, over the bunch. So I decided to take one to the middle to try and get high on the blue. But another one, another one that's gone awry. And the cue ball there, what am I going to have a go at here? Red to the left of the blue, maybe into the middle? Yes, I'm playing it positively to try and come back down for the blue, which I have managed. So, as I've got quite a bit of angle on this one. Even uh, rolling it in, sort of dropping it in shot, I'm going to be on the red just to the right of the black rather than the one to the middle. And hopefully, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully just stun this one in for black to left corner. And then up for a choice of red below the pink. That's the, that's the plan. Sort of gently nudge the cue ball up and have that red that's below and to the left of the pink rather than trying to come back across the table. Uh, hasn't quite gone far enough. So rather than just rolling through for the black, I've got to play the sort of softer shot like that. Don't mind that one so much. It's being on the pink is still okay. Now, am I going to try and develop those two reds or just drop it in for the and come back a bit? Ah, oh, yes. Tried the the dropping it in shots and I was hoping to get a little bit more movement on those two reds. So, nothing really much to go at. Apart from this one. Now, it looks like it should go. But as you can see, I had no idea where the cue ball was going to go no control over it whatsoever <laughs> just trying to uh, <coughs> excuse me get the get the red in and just leaving this little bit of shot choice and selection visible now I could take the blue to either of the bottom corners um, but then I'm playing that into a blind pocket. I could play the green, but where it's just off a of straight, I've got to play a relatively deep screw shot. And that could go wrong as well. So I'm opting to play for the yellow. Because I can play on and off the bolt cushion. Like that. And then once the yellow has gone in the pocket, I should have been nicer on one of the reds. But as you can see, I quite clearly fluffed the yellow. But the thought process was there. The shot selection, I think, was the correct one. Just very poor execution. And Jordan has tucked me up. So, I was, as you can see, well, what I was trying there was not just to get out of the snooker, but was to hit the red just off a of full ball the other way and to then roll the white in behind the black. And I wasn't far off of that. Now, am I going to attempt this one to the corner and send the white up the other end of the table? <coughs> yes, and I've missed it thin, which wasn't too bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, not much. Not much for me to have a go at here. Yeah, I was going to play the safety off of the red nearest to black, but I was going to have to swap hands, so it makes more sense to take this one up by the gr uh, pink, sorry, to then hopefully get the white up behind the green. Which has worked out. White is in the, almost in the jaws of the pocket. Now this red doesn't go past the other one into top left corner, so playing the red up past the green because it does actually go into that pocket and playing it nice and gentle, give the pocket every chance to accept it and uh, <clears throat> as you can see I'm always going to be on the pink. So very happy with that positional shot and pot as well and uh, just a nice delicate pink out for this red. Oh yes, on and off the cushion for the brown. Now play this one a little bit of right hand side. Don't forget to pop the brown. That's that's the number one thing. Yeah, play it with a little bit of right hand side helping side to help it off that side cushion to go down towards the yellow. If I'd have played it plain ball, I'd have been up near the blue. Um or at least not as close to the pink and not as uh, well on this yellow as I am so similar wrist shot but punching it in and the white's going to go up towards the green sadly I'd had my Weetabix in the morning and I've hit that one about a foot too much pace Yeah, that was very, very ambitious to try and pot that because that was that was never on. So what's the difference? Twenty twenty six points the difference with only twenty five remaining. So Jordan is in the position of needing a snooker and have I flicked another one? No, I don't think I have that time. No. <laughs> but Jordan's played a very nice shot there. And with the green in the open, especially near the brown, this one's going to be particularly difficult. A couple of cushions. And yes, I did miss it, although it was only just by a couple of coats of paint, about four points given. So trying to cover the green with the pink. Uh, didn't push the white over near enough the middle of the table. Is Jordan going to get me behind the brown? I think I can get past the blue. Might even be able to uh, get the potting angle. No, not quite. But at least the green has gone safe. But as it's come up the table. Uh, just a couple of choices. Do I play the thin cut and run the white off of about 100 cushions to get onto the brown? Or do I play the reverse double and still run it off a load of cushions? I'm going to play it that way and be quite aggressive with it. And Although I've got a nudge on the black, I am on this brown. Very, very thin. Oh, and it's just wobbled in the jaws. So is Jordan going to come back and try and get 
a couple of snookers. Can't do anything with the brown other than pot it and... Ah! Fortunately for Jordan, he's also potted the white. So managed to bring it back to two wool. We're going to get straight into frame number five. So adopting my preferred break on when it's six reds of just going skinny off of it and staying on the same side of the table. Ah. Wow, if I was any good, I'd be putting in a frame winning break here, but you watch me mess this up. <laughs> okay. Um, three reds to the left of the black, no point in taking any of those because it's taking me away from the black and away from uh, other colours and just kind of no point. This red, however, although I'm using the rest, is keeping me on the black. Oh, disappeared that one a bit too quick, I think. Um, but yeah, sort of stunned that one in or screw back a little bit to make sure I had high black. And so I was able to play that shot, but I was hoping to get a little bit of a cannon on the red that is next to the black spot because it now means that I can't pot said black ball. So I'm going to have to take the top one of these two to the left corner and play up for the blue. I'll be on it nicely. So I would have preferred it to the middle but being there it means I can take it to the left corner and then have a choice hopefully of the two reds to the uh, right of the pink that's the plan and I <clears throat> was not far away so Jordan dispatches that red with authority can you get the cue ball out nicely for the next red he can now, is there any angle to move the red and the black? No, not from that one. Right, again up for the blue. Now, hoping to firstly pot this and then secondly run into the middle of the red and the black. Or not quite the right cannon unfortunately if I'd have got both balls at the same time I would have uh, still been on the red to the right corner oh that one evades me and I left it for Jordan to just gently drop in Now, friendly kiss on the red. And which colour is he going to play on to after this? Now, what would you do? Black to the middle or pink up towards the yellow pocket to be a goalkeeper if missed? Wild one. Where's the cube going? Ooh. Oh, Jordan, not far away with that double attempt. He's left it safe. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I surprised myself with some of these pots that I put out. Well, I can't do it all the time, I don't know. Anyway. I did then snooker myself, unfortunately. But that did graze the green, so... No foul points awarded. Now, what am I going to try with this green? Down past the pink into the left corner. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, so I was trying to, I was playing the, the running through shot, hoping that the cue ball, if I did miss the green, was going to stay down that end. But unfortunately, it's come up and I've somehow managed to fluke a snooker. So apologies to Jordan about that one, that's awful. But thankfully, he's managed to wriggle out of it. And has he put me back in a snooker? If you heard that, that's my dog barking at me. She seems to think that I can help her out of the predicament she's got herself into, which is walking into a bunch of brambles and other brush, and she can't seem to figure out her way out. Anyway, back to the snooker. Right, the sensible shot here would be to attempt the green into its own pocket with the intention of leaving the white behind the black in, in case it missed. Um, but I am going to take it to the yellow pocket and leave it in the jaws. <laughs> that is almost the correct shot, I suppose. And Jordan's uh, kept the cue ball out of the pocket this time, so. It's all good. Can you drop the brown in? No, he's left it awkward for me, needing the use of the spider. They're just trying to make some sort of contact with it and sending it up towards the black. To be honest, I was just happy that I missed the pink. And that's got every chance of going in, or that was close. Right, skinny brown. Oh, how do I fancy my chances? Um, actually, quite well. <laughs> So blue levels up the points, if it goes in of course, which it doesn't, but thankfully where I've missed it thin, it's uh, it's gone safe. The white was in the right place for the pink actually, so small mercies as they say. Yeah, let's have another look at that angle, blue to yellow pocket, send the white round and hopefully get on the pink. And if you can hear a knocking in the background, that is my dog trying to destroy a stick by whacking it against a tree. Uh, well done Jordan, he's, he's now gone 10 points to the good. Uh, is this going to be a race to pot the pink? Although the black's not in particularly good position. And now all I'm trying to do is keep that pink as close to the bolt cushion as possible. So I played that one cushion first with loads of left hand side to uh, make sure the white did come back out. And I'm going to try something very similar here, just a kind of aim to miss the pink. So yeah, caught that one about as well I was going about as well as I was going to. Where's this going to go from Jordan? Is that going to go safe? It certainly is. Now, is this a. Uh, oh, yes. I'm going to try and play this one again, cushion first, but a load of right hand side to then send the pink up the table. Unfortunately, didn't judge the throw on that one, and it did hit the pink first. That's why the balls are there.
pink right now. I don't know why, but I quite fancy this pink. I know this looks rock hard. But somehow, yeah, I, uh, I say I fancied that one. And the white was going on the right line to make this black nice and easy. It's now gone thin, so if I'm going to miss this one, I need to miss it thick. So hit the far jaw to send the black back up the table like that, as the white is coming this way. Jordan doesn't want that white going in, <laughs> unfortunately. That is the end of the frame, which was very harsh to be fair, wasn't it? I mean, that, that frame could have, gone, could have gone either way, but a foul on the black is definitely not a nice way to... It's not even a nice way to win a frame, is it, when, you, when your opponent goes in off? Anyway. On to frame six. Okay, thin snick on the red. Down for the blue, maybe. And as there's a loose one to the bottom left of the bunch, we can hopefully roll this one in and be on that one. Ah, not far away, but far enough. And yes, I was on that red, even if it was low. Now, unfortunately for Jordan, this red has gone cuttable. Oh, that's a helpful flick off the yellow. Wasn't playing it, but I was playing down for the pink, so that's helped out massively. Oh, you tall. Oh, what an idiot. Uh, anyway. Good pop by Jordan, he's on the nice high black. Is he gonna try and dislodge the blue and the red? He is. So that's helpful. And that was nice he dropped in. Now, which red would you be playing for off of this blue? I think that's gone quite nicely for him actually. A good developing shot a couple of efforts ago. Oh, no. Um, yeah, so a few nice shots there from Jordan, developing balls and knocking them in. Just very, very unfortunate with that red. It wasn't far off at all. So I've got a lot of work here to do. Now I'm going to take the easy pink, hopefully miss the yellow, and get back down towards that red. Now, I did, could... Yeah didn't avoid the yellow so now I've got a very tricky red down the cushion which has wobbled in but too too straight on the black for my liking it's the wrong side of it to be playing the screw shot with a bit of reverse side on it so let's put the pink in hopefully and that will take me up nicer onto the yellow Now, believe it or not, I'm trying to... Oh, I was trying to get into the cue ball enough there that it was going to swing the white round off of a couple of cushions and go in behind the green. Um, and because I was concentrating so much on that, I've completely fluffed the pot. And the white's gone nowhere near where it should have been either. So, all in all, excellent shot. <laughs> right. Double on the yellow or playing safe? What am I going to do here? Yes, was playing the double. It was quite a long way from it. And where's that going? Oh! Jordan, however, does manage to double that red. What? Uh, red. Yellow. I'll put my brain in gear, shall I? Yeah, well, okay, well done, Jordan. He's back to being 10 in front. And this green does cut. Shouldn't be a chance of the in-off. So I'll just make sure the pot and hopefully the white's going to go somewhere up. 
for the brown. And a relatively nice angle on this brown, I guess, to come back down for the blue and just try and make sure that, well, firstly, I pop the brown, and secondly, that I stay high on the blue. I don't want to be going low on this. So that's good. Now, trying to get into the cue ball, again, bit of right hand, uh, left hand side, sorry, and I was trying to avoid the black at all costs, and kind of get nearer the, cor uh, the right corner pocket as we're looking, for the white to bounce off top cushion, side cushion, then back out for the pink into the left corner. That hasn't worked. Oh, that was painfully close. Oh, that was painful. That was frame ball, that was. Jordan wasn't too far away with that one. Now, is that going to... Oh, it's going to go just a little bit too far away from the middle to make this one nice pot to uh, to that middle, or left middle. So, attempting the double. Oh, it dipped. But I've left it. So uh, nice, nice queuing for pot in the pink. Left himself a challenge in black though. Or is he going to play safe? Now he's going to try it. But he's, uh, Jordan's got a very good cue ball there. I am going full blooded on this one though. And I've managed to pull that one out of the bag. Cool. Yes, quick handshake there because we. This was probably about, I don't know, half past 12 at night or in the morning, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yes, it was definitely time for bed, I think. So we're going to continue the, the next three frames very, very soon. Definitely one of those, one of those last three frames could have. Uh, or two of them could have gone could have gone Jordan's way had the balls gone slightly nicer for him but I've managed to come out of the sort of second mini session uh, if you want to look at it that way with videos anyway I managed to come out of that one with 3-0 so I'm now 4-2 in front but we'll have to wait and to see how the next three frames go very very soon um, thank you very much for staying with me listening to me waffle on and hopefully I will see you guys and girls again very, very soon for the next one. But for now, everyone, take care.